Hi, Shabbat Tov, everyone. Hope you all had a fantastic Shabbat. Friends, we are on Masechet Baba Batra. Friends, who are on page 41. Naturally, that is Mem Aleph, as we say in Hebrew over here. And it's very interesting. What if someone doesn't necessarily claims he doesn't know the laws about something while he's taking, let's say he's taking possession of something and he's on someone's land. Friends, the case scenario is today where someone, an owner of a land, let's say supposedly he's an owner, says to someone else, what are you doing in my property? What are you doing in my land? And then the person answers back and says, I didn't know I was not allowed to be on here. That was his response over here. Has that got any claim over here? Like someone acting like he doesn't understand things. He doesn't uh, know anything. He's uh, dumb and dumber. Let's just say uh, the words. Does that, that take any halakhic weight? No, the person's got to provide evidence that the land is his. Having the excuse of saying, I, I didn't know I was not allowed to be here is not uh, any form of proof of ownership over here. But then the cynic could ask, why does he have to discuss and speak about this halakha on this page of the Gemara here on 41 over here? This is obvious over here. You know, someone can't just give an excuse. I didn't know I'm not allowed to be here. You know, it doesn't really make any sense. He's coming with, it's not a substantial uh, argument over here. There's no uh, substance to it. Maybe someone uh, might be, you know, lacking mentally over here. This, uh, this might be a sign of potentially, but know that they have to re reiterate it. The halakha does over here to show that, you know, Someone just can't claim that he didn't know the laws and that is going to be something of it because there might be people that generally might be thinking on that wavelength over that. Someone could just come in somewhere and think that that's theirs without necessarily reading the entire picture or the situation over here. But they do all, uh, say, let's just say hypothetically, someone doesn't know how to answer. They say someone, maybe there's an owner over there and someone that doesn't know how to speak. He's not charismatic. Maybe he's got social problems or maybe he's got speech problems and he doesn't know how to answer a responsible party that's responsible for this individual has got to speak out for him also let's say for example they, someone might know that someone might not necessarily be able to speak so well might, his oratory skills might not be so well and might take advantage of that and might be in his land which is which he maybe might dwell inside and take advantage of it and he knows the other party is not so clever or he's got issues over here. People that are the guardians of this specific individual should speak up and claim the right of this individual over here. There's going to be that, th th this specific uh, importance is also related in today's stuff. So it's just important, you know, how we should, first of all, take care of other people. If someone might not necessarily, uh, he might be struggling with certain social issues and uh, he owns things, let's just say. Or he's got his own rights and might not be able to express it and people might take advantage of them. One has got to protect those specific individuals over there. Guys, I'm wishing you all a Shabbat Tov. Wish you all a good week. Take care and I hope you all had a Shabbat. I'd like to dedicate this to Lulun Shmat. Aviu Ben Take care and have a great day.